Stakeout mode setup for the Leica robotic total station. Once your equipment is set up, if you need at any point to access the laser level and laser plummet, you can do so by hitting Shift, F12. We'll pull up our menu, escape back to the main menu. To access stakeout mode, you're going to use main menu icon 2, programs. Once you get in programs, it's going to be option 3, stakeout. Select stakeout, enter, or F1 to continue. It's going to bring out our stakeout menu. Here, we can do as we did with survey. Click on the name, brings up our data job info that is stored into our memory card. We can select which job we want to work off of. For this example, we're going to use default. Enter or F1 to continue. Next, our job. We also want to use default. Again, you can pull up that menu, hit enter, and bring us to our next option. So we're going to stake out our default job from our default job. Let's say you want to say, let's stake out a building. You can also stake out that job inside another one. F1, continue to our next menu. Here it's going to ask us our current setup. It's going to tell us our station ID, instrument height, backsite ID, target height, and method. You can also see F1, F3, and F6. We can keep our current setup, we can change to a new setup, or we can check our backsite. For this job, we want to do F3, new setup. Station setup menu. The method, you can select with a stylus or use enter to bring down the drop down menu. We want to say known backsite because we're working within a job that we created and we know which backsite we want to use. Enter to accept. Station coordinates, we want to use from our control job. Again, drop down menu with a stylus or enter. You can see we have other options. From control jobs, what we want to use. Station ID. We want to say that we're occupying CPA. Enter to accept. Once we have our instrument height, we can type that in using the keyboard, the keypad, and hit enter to accept. Our control job, what we're working off of, we want to make sure that that is also default. Once that's set up, we can hit continue to go to our backsite setup menu. You can see on the top, next to setup, you have a backsite info tab and a station info tab. If you hit page or F6, you can scroll through that. You can see that our backsite ID BS001 has a northing, an easting, and elevation. Also, station info. Page back to the setup. Once we have our backsite ID selected, we can input our reflector height. Use the keypad, type in the height, and hit enter to accept. Once we have everything set up, we're ready to record where we are at. We need to set our backsite and let the instrument know where it's occupying. Make sure before you hit set that the rod, the rod man is set on the point. If it's a point, or change the reflector to a reflector tape if you're using a backsight point on a wall, and make sure that we're locked on to the prism. If we're not locked on, it will automatically search. If that doesn't work, you can hit F7 to manually search for the prism. It will, the instrument will search 360 degrees from its previous location until it locks on to the instrument. If it's not locked on to the prism, you will see a pair of binoculars and it will be looking for it and then once it finds it you will see a crosshair with a target around it. Alright, so we're backsighting our backsight and we're ready to set our position. You can hit F1 to set and it's going to tell you that our station and orientation has been set and our angle right has been set. So now our angle right is set to zero and we're ready to turn our angles. Hit F4 to OK it's going to bring us into our stakeout mode. The other thing you want to make sure is next to, to the right of the prism on the icons at the top, you want to make sure that this menu here, you can click on it with the stylus, you want to make sure that that is set EDM mode to tracking. 
This way, it tracks the prism and your location of, of your point in real time. Otherwise, you have to keep repeatedly hitting distance as you move. F1, continue. You can see the point management above the reflector height of 5.7. If we click on that, we can select any point that we want to stake out, use the arrows and hit enter, or you can simply use over to select a point. Once you are on a point that you want to stake out, you're going to hit F2 distance to start checking in reference to the point location. As I hit F2, you will see as the rod gets closer and closer to the point, it will eventually change to a crosshair to zero in. As you get on point, you're going to hit F3 to record, or you can also hit F1 to stop if you want to stop the distance and not record. So we're going to record the point. Once we're on point, using your bipod legs, make sure it's plumb. And once you're satisfied to where you should be, you're going to hit F3, record that point. It's going to tell you that your point has been recorded and you would like to store it. The next, it will move to the next consecutive point on the options you have set up. Either set up to go to the consecutive point three or the next closest point. After you are finished with the stakeout mode, you can hit escape. It's going to bring you back to the menu of stakeout and then you can hit escape back out to the main menu. You're ready to start your next task.